Hello, AVGL fans, Twitch chat, everybody. I am Bryce LPs, and with me here, I have... Ignorant Sloth. Nice to join you guys for the first time tonight. Yeah, uh, right now we got ourselves some good games going down tonight. Uh, Sloth, have you been looking at any of the games we've been uh, watching uh, I haven't seen anything previous, uh, really, but aside from these guys. But uh, team sponsor us and Elonomics uh, are definitely two really good teams, and I'm, I'm pretty excited for these these two man or these, these matches coming up tonight. It's uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what comes around. Yeah, um, uh, team sponsor us really uh, some heavy hitters on their team. Really good team overall. Sure. They're they're really good deciding what picks, and you know sometimes there's some fun picks, but you know they're. Uh, pretty strong team and elonomics have uh gone and shown that they're a strong team but uh you know i i think that these games are going to be pretty good tonight yeah that's for sure i'm excited to see uh you know who who really comes and who shines to this match tonight i haven't i haven't seen a lot of these players before so i'm definitely uh, interested to see who is gonna you know come out on top against each other and uh i i preferred solo lane so i kind of like to watch watch a little solo lane action see who who goes there but uh, uh i i think we'll expect a lot of action in these in these games it's it's gonna be pretty interesting so um yeah yeah right now uh team sponsor us actually three and oh they are dominating their uh the, this <laughs> set these sets right now they're just doing really well they've had some pretty funny picks and then elonomics uh right now actually zero and two because of some issues that have gone down which have uh forced a couple things but they're still in the league they're still you know always a chance to come back and i think that they might show it in this game who knows yeah I, I, so uh well, let's uh, let's go ahead and get on in to hear this game. Yeah, let's hop in. All right. All right, and looking at the map here, we got ourselves some interesting picks. Not actually looking at the picks, picks and bands, but uh, right now we see. Uh, coming out from the chaos side, the right side of your spectator UI, we have Elonomics coming in with Cardiac on the Geb, J Tedder on Hu Yi, Cute on Soul, and Osath on Guan Yu, along with their jungler uh, Bill Boom Boop on a Wheelix. And I do actually; these names are actually turned around right now. So that was team sponsor us uh, oh, for this that? match. We do have yep, yep. This team, yes, this team is uh, team sponsor. Elonomics is on the order side with support dog playing the Athena as support. Shady OG Medusa as the hunter. Swagnator as Giannis in the mid lane. Wolp as Vamana in the solo lane, and and Julian as Thor in the jungle. Yeah, so just go ahead and ignore uh, whatever I said. Uh, <laughs> that was team sponsor. No worries. It's confusing. It's confusing. Yeah, I, uh, when it's messed no, up, it's confusing. <laughs> it, it's hard to be familiar with all the players on the team. I thought I was kind of suspicious whenever I saw Cute. I was like, wait a minute. But I just figured might as well keep going with it. Anyways, right now, uh, looking at builds, uh, looks like we have pretty standard stuff coming out all around. Uh, nothing special. Thor with a red pot. Mm, nothing too fancy coming out. What do you think? Yeah, pretty basic builds. Both hunters going transcendence. I mean, look at it. support and hunters all the same thing. Mid has the same thing. Solo has the same thing in jungle. Like they've mirror matched. There's definitely a meta going on right now. And yeah, teams seem to be following it strictly. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got even starts are uh, fairly the same. Uh, right now we have Soul heading to mid lane. Janice heading to mid lane. We still have Thor and Vamana working on this blue buff. Looks like. Uh, what they did back camps to uh, blue buff instead of mid camps or the pigs. Yep, yep. They did pigs take too long doing blue to pigs. Sometimes takes too long, and it it really is important to get to lane faster in the solo lane. I believe uh, yes. getting getting there first it can make or break that lane for you. That lane pressure is really really huge. So uh, doing the back camps and then the blues can sometimes get you there faster, depending on who your comp is, depending on who your jungle and who your solo com combined is. Uh, right now we do see team sponsor us in Elonomics kind of fighting over that left left mid camp right now a wheelish and um the mid laner cute as soul just i you'd think they'd be able to burn that pretty quick but they don't want to yeah. fight too hard because thor and uh thor and Giannis can hurt pretty bad as well but yeah uh, thor with that's, that passive. that's a pretty hard fight yeah uh, exactly 
Was, he's getting uh, he's getting four stacks of it right there. Yeah, Warriors Madness just giving him so much damage early. Do you think that they uh, didn't go from mid camps to blue because they were afraid of the early Wheelix Guan Yu? Yeah, yeah, totally. Like you, you can't fight that. <laughs> that is way too hard to fight. <laughs> Guan Yu yeah. early game is scary, and a Wheelix early game is like that's really scary. That feather step will just mess you up pretty hard. Yeah. It gives her immunity. It just It's a really strong move overall. Uh, right now, yeah. we have uh, right side mid camps being taken by Janice and Thora Wheelix and Sol Hen over there. Right now, Vamana is bodying Guan Yu pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, he's destroying Guan Yu, which uh, it really depends on the players, I think. Uh, Guan Yu can hold up against Vamana pretty well, but Vamana is so pokey. He's really, really hard to deal with, and if he gets that lane pressure early on, he can clear faster than Guan, and we'll have some issues. Luckily, Guan can heal up pretty well, and he does have a, a lot of health pots and his, his one as well to heal up, so he's looking like he's going to get back into that lane pretty easily and just not be forced out, but he is using a lot of those potions that he may have wanted to save for later, and that'll be some extra gold gold out of his pocket. Yeah, there might be some uh, gold taken and Vamana might get some pressure off of that. Uh, right now, just uh, farming up. There really aren't going to be too many early fights yet. Uh, once Thor hits level 5, there's probably going to be a pretty big gank. Uh, probably onto the dual lane side, I would imagine. Yeah, for sure. And I'm, I'm surprised that we're not seeing... Uh the actual team sponsor us uh, with Bivon Boop and uh, go get a little more aggressive, especially with that red pot of wheelish start. Uh, maybe you want to find a little something a little sooner, especially where on Hul Julian is uh, pretty low right now. He maybe wasn't a little bit ago, but uh, adding a little bit of pressure might have been good. Granted, got the five a little bit sooner, was able to back, and now can come into lane a little more aggressive while Thor has just now hit five, but he has low health. He has to back. Uh, so I think Bivon Boop has the upper hand here. Now let's go ahead and talk about this duo lane right here. We have Athena and Medusa versus Hu Yi and Geb. That uh, that Athena Medusa combo with the ultimate and the taunt that's gonna be rough if uh, beads are down on Hu Yi, which he does have purification. Yeah, that's all about communication, though. I've seen that go awry many times because there's no not a lot of communication between the support and the hunter, or it's not communicated well enough of what's supposed to happen. So sometimes that can really mess it up. Uh, but Athena has to really be aware of uh the hunter's abilities and being ready for that to happen you know but sometimes it does you don't you know sometimes you know you're going into the fight you're like okay now we're gonna do this after this wave let's go sometimes it's like holy crap i gotta i gotta use my old now you know so yeah. that's up to support dog to really pay attention to what shady og's uh health is at where he's positioning at and everything like that and we also gotta note geb can just cleanse both of those forms of cc with the shield yeah that that's exactly why they picked Geb into this because uh, Athena is one of, if not the best support in the game right now, and pretty much always has been. Uh, even though she kind of went away for a little while, I think that was just because people got bored of her. Uh, but that taunt, that taunt every every I can't remember every, every, how many seconds, but that taunt when she gets like full cooldowns is really really yeah, <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. Like it comes up so often, and a huge group of here right now in the right lane. There's <laughs> the back camps are getting contested. This blue buff is really getting. Yeah contest right now. Oh, here goes Guan Yu into his ult. He's looking to get a, f a pick right now. He's going on the end. So right now Thor is Thor going up in the air as well. Guan Yu doesn't quite finish that off and he is going to pick up Swagon Air. Q's going to finish that off as well. Getting a double kill on Support Dog as well. Support Dog's going to finish that off with the shield wall as well. Everybody's dying right now. <laughs> this is a crazy <laughs> fight. Bomb as well. Yeah, this is okay. Q, wow. okay. Q got three kills out of that. Triple kill. That is not good because you do not want Soul to get nuts. And that's exactly what just happened. Cute just walked away. Let's take a look at that gold and XP difference right there. For walking away from that, uh, not a huge gold difference, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, the XP difference is huge now, 1,500. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, Soul, if she gets ahead, she gets ahead. And you do not want her to be ahead. So this could uh, potentially be a problem. Yeah, I expect to see Cute being extremely aggressive now, especially against Swagonator in the mid lane, who just now hit level seven, and Cute's been level eight for a little bit now because of that big triple kill. So that's that's scary. Janice from behind uh, is he's still slippery, but he's not as powerful. He's still kind of hard to kill just because of his kit, uh, but he's really not that big of a threat when he's behind like that. Soul, on the other hand, is always a threat, uh, and she's just always slippery. So it's it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Bibon Boo getting kind of stuck by this wall here but Geb's there to shield him on top of that it's just kind of funny to watch him stand there like yes I get it this wall's gonna hold me here for a while you're not gonna attack me though I'm still I'm still wheelish like 
you can't just fight me that what you know that hard. Even though Thor can do quite a bit of damage to her, Thor's going to have to be really really careful about his positioning in these fights. I think he went down too early in that last fight and wasn't able to do quite enough. He did come down with the ult as well and got two assists out, or he got he has two assists overall. The only two assists for Elonomics right now, the only two kills. But uh, I think we need to see him really being a little more uh b being in better positions he's being aggressive which is great i think he just got caught in a bad fight because everyone was there and it was just a really bad fight for them yeah uh and we're also uh, we should say a wheelix can avoid a lot of damage uh here from thor with that feather step if she avoids the double tap that's a lot of damage you're taking off double tap doing uh from yulnir's attunement does a lot of damage and if she just you yeah, know hits two all of a sudden that damage is gone and she does half your health and it's just not a fun time for anyone right now we have uh thor janice taking this red buff Fumana just kind of sitting here in the dual lane or solo lane, he's not in the dual lane. Uh, he's getting that free clear that he does, and right now it looks like Soul was just drawing around Janice, giving him a nice party. Big fight going on in the mid lane. Soul uses her ultimate. Right now, Thor goes down. Uh, Wheelix goes down to the portal along with Soul. Janice Soul comes out. Vaman is here. Looks like he's going trying to go into that Soul, but Gev Shield isn't going to do anything. A Wheelix going about not going to go through that portal. Everybody just came in here, and uh, only Thor. Yeah, has a big right? group up. Uh, yes, only Thor oh, is bad right now. Guan Yu is coming in all on top, though. He wants that Athena, right? Really bad support dog in a bad position. Shady OG is trying to save him, but not able to do anything. Oh, Seth going to pick up support dog there at a great another pick. 14 sponsor us. 6 to 2 at just a little under 8 minutes in here. Uh, this is starting to snowball pretty quick because Guan Yu. He, he when he starts going like that, he's gonna get scary. Uh oh, Thor is going up right now. Who's he gonna pick up? He's trying to go for Soul. Lands right on her. Double tap is successful on Julian. Is gonna take Cute down right there, and that's exactly what I want to see from Thor. Just trying to pick on Cute as much as possible. Keep him down because uh, he does have those Doom Orb stacks, and 13 is gonna get knocked down to seven. Yeah, uh, getting those Doom Orb stacks uh, down is just such a great benefit to the enemy team. Uh, it just allows them to eliminate a lot of damage, taking half of those stacks. And right now, wow, just easy oh, pickings man. coming out yeah. on that gap. Uh, looks like he lagged out there. He just kind of started walking into the tower, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think he, I think he had a little bit of an issue there. Uh, maybe a pause is going to come out here in just a moment because it looks like he, uh, he just started walking like right into the tower. And I don't think he's, I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah, there it is. Jay, yep. uh, the game is paused there uh, for team sponsor us. Their gib did go down. So now he is 0-2, but he does have five assists. So he's been everywhere in at all these fights pretty much. Uh, since we have a little bit of a break here, I guess we can talk about the builds a little bit possibly. Yeah, uh, taking a look at uh, the person who's DC'd. Firstly, I just want to say that it absolutely disgusts me that there's two unfinished items on Geb. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, doing that wing blade start. He's doing that the boots <laughs> one the wing blade, which is <laughs> is kind of legit. But I mean, man, I don't know. It, both both teams did it. Both sides did it. But finish your boots, man. Don't go into don't go into breastplate. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, don't go into that. Just I hate unfinished items as much as you do. That's that's a super big big. It, problem. it doesn't help you if if you're watching this and you don't if you don't know that finish an item before you start a new one unless it's just unless you can buy like a spear desolation or a rod of the hoodie. Finish your item. <laughs> And yeah, uh, totally. unless you're buying some big, big item like that, there's no reason to not just finish those items. Yeah. That, that's super frustrating. Looking at the uh, builds, though, overall, it looks like uh, who? Oh, oh, we're done with the pause. But really quick, Hu Yi actually has transcendence online and boots too. Meanwhile, Benusa just finishing her uh, warrior tap by she and just has... bought. Oh man, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> like shoot, it, I, it went from nothing to all of a sudden full boot or full warrior tabby there. I'm like, all right, that's that's <laughs> scary because that's that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be mean. 38 stacks already. Where I guess Hoi's got the 43, so he's got the upper hand, but he doesn't have those tab, that tabby online. Uh, probably just because he hasn't backed. I think he's got that golden hand most likely. He's able to yeah. go that, just not able to go by it yet because he wants to be aggressive. And speaking of aggressive, that's exactly what he's doing right now, making Medusa just jump backwards. Uh, Medusa is pretty slippery as well, but Hoi is the master of like pinning people down. He is like, it definitely top tier ADC right now in this game. And Thor is going up, trying to pick on him as well. Jay Tedder needs to get out of there. He is going to get landed on. Double tap is not going to hit because Purification comes out and he jumps over it. All three Venom Bites hit though. Wow. OG, really, really accurate there. Yeah, that was a really great uh, set of autos coming out from Shady OG. He hit all of them and the one after the Viper's shot ran out. 
yeah, that was that was very very good on him. He needed <laughs> those, and he needed that kill desperately. That's gonna bring uh, Elonomics back to five kills compared to what they had just a little bit ago, which was two. Granted, one of those was Cardiac going uh, going DC there, but hey, a kill is a kill, and that's that's more gold in their gold and XP in their pocket. Yeah, uh, right now it looks like we have. Uh... Uh, Guan Yu being aggressive, but other than that, it's just pretty standard stuff. Clearing out red buff on both teams. Uh, everybody's just heading back to lane. There's just, you know, there's always just points when smite games calm down. And there's just not really anything going on. Unless you're in solo lane, then you're always trying to kill somebody. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, you're looking for those power spikes. And, and really, you're, you're looking to bait the enemy team into something bad. Specifically what Team Sponsors is doing right now. They were looking to maybe pressure that Gold Fury. Realized uh, there's a lot of people here. We, we don't really don't want to quite fight this yet. We could. And I think they could come out on top of it. But they'd rather not. Knowing that uh, you know Yanis has his ultimate up as well. Support Dog has his ultimate up. Granted Athena's ult isn't as pre prevalent when she's standing right there. It's, <laughs> it's still good for the damage reduction though. Looks like Oseth is going to get picked on, but not going to do much because he's just going to walk away. He's got all that. Uh, he's already got that Breastplate of Valor online, which really, really helps him against that physical protection. And he can just sit there and heal, especially with that extra cooldown on it. A wheel is just looking for blood here, though, but just not able to pick anything up there. Bip on boop. Just putting a lot of pressure on that right lane, which is exactly what he needs to do. They're going to look to steal that blue buff as well. Uh, yeah. Thor is coming back, though. He's, he doesn't want to give that up for, for free, but uh, <laughs> you don't think he has a choice that has to go away. Because everyone's there. That whole party is pretty much there. Ho Yi's the only one in left lane right now, and everyone else is just ready to go. And it looks like they might be heading over to left lane right now. Uh, looks like, yeah, Wheelix <laughs> and Geb heading over, but Medusa has not spotted this out, but they aren't going for it for some reason. Looks like she does have a ward on that bottom side. Yep, there is a ward on the bottom left, so ah. she did, did see it, uh, see them both coming. Oh, Seth picking up Walp in the right lane. Somehow. What is going on there? Well, his ult was down from that previous engagement with Anhulian. But that's a Vamana. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you can get in a bad situation <laughs> with Guan if you don't have that ult. Uh, and he probably had Curse as well. Curse was not down either. So, man, I don't know how he killed him without Curse. I could see if he had the Curse on top of it and, like, taking that whole Talos assault. Like, that'd be, that'd be pretty dangerous, but... Not doing that. Look at this. He's going right for it. That's how he's Ooh. doing it. Oh, Seth is fat. Holy crap, he is level 15 and just walked all over Anholian, who's only level 10. Yeah, that's a pretty rough uh, exchange right there whenever you're a level 10 Thor going up against a 15 Guan Yu who just walks into your tower and is like, hey man, feel these blades. <laughs> dude, that Tal Assault shredded him. <laughs> he couldn't even think to get out. Yeah, dude, that was, oh man, that was ridiculous. Very good plays by Osath, who's just farming up right now. Like, he's 4-0 and <laughs> in the solo lane, and that's the problem right now. That's what, that's what a lot of balance that's coming out towards soul lane because uh, soul lanes get ahead and then they just stomp on everyone. That seems to be the problem lately. And that's why they're taking away a boar on that side is because they're trying to sap a little bit of XP from them as well because they're getting all the solo farm, able to rotate in the mid or into the jungle and get a kill here and there. That just really f feeds them up because they, it sucks to gank a solo laner because you open up that opportunity for Gold Fear to get taken without you being there or you have to use a lot on solo lane then have nothing in a fight in, you know, over in the mid lane or at the Gold Fury. So uh, it's really hard to sit there and camp the solo laner when they can usually just get out of it as well. Yeah, uh, solo laners are usually pretty mobile gods. Amana having that amazing dash, he has a slow, his ultimate, he's just... He's just great at getting away, it's, and he's so tanky, it's just... It, I hate you, Vamana. Anyways, getting back to the game here, uh, we have uh, just red buff being taken by Thor, Athena, Janus. Uh, really, you know, getting back to those slow points in the game. Vamana coming back to his lane after his little break and just farming up all around. Uh, looking at the builds here, Soul actually has Doomor fully stacked, and it looks like that's Golden Sash potentially going uh, into Warlocks. Yeah, I assume that he's going into Warlocks, which is a great item on Soul, honestly. That just gives that extra tankiness for boxing. Uh, man, that hurts. Like, it sucks to already box Soul, but now she's going to be that much more tankier and have that much more power on top of it, along with those 50 Doom Orb stacks. That hurts really, really bad. So uh, I assume she, she's probably going into uh, Warlock Sash. She could go into Gem of Isolation, but... I, don't, I don't think that. I don't think so. I mean, that's not really a great item on her, especially against Warlock Sash. A huge fight over here. Shady OG's ult going to come out, but not going to hit anyone fully. A wheelish picking off uh, support dog in the back. Bit Bomb Boop's going to go down. Janice ult coming through the wall to hopefully save him, but 
just way too late. Thor comes down onto three people, just not doing hardly any damage though. Cardiac gonna pick up that kill without just that shockwave there. Shady OG is looking to get out right here, but will he be safe? Will he keep going for it? Mana's on top of it as well. Holy crap, he's going down. Suns are coming down. Cardiac's gonna pick up another kill. Bivon Boop gonna pick up the last kill as well. This looks like a free gold tree for uh, team sponsor us. Yeah, team sponsor us really dominating dominating in these team fights. Uh, Guan Yu was already there, and then Vamana just shows up and dies. That's that's all he did. He tried to come in and do something, but all of a sudden, everybody throws abilities. He gets slowed. He tries to ult, and he's dead before his ult can he before he can even auto attack in his ult. Jan is actually living in that fight because he ran away. But uh, overall, it looks like team sponsor us is really just a lot better in these team fights right now. Yeah, that's for sure. And I think a lot of that has to do with Cute. Cute is playing extremely well right now. And Cute actually shredded Wolf down in that last fight. Wolf has no magical protection. So that's understandable that Soul would just shred that Vamana out. And it's it, it's uh, it's funny because Soul uh, uh, Vamana is actually somewhat of a counter to Soul, especially later to game. If he gets uh, Hide of the Urchin early, which he probably should have, you can actually get uh, Hide of the Urchin, uh, Frostbound Hammer, and... Uh, Hasten Fatalis, and Soul cannot get away from you. Sounds you just like some DM Brandon it. stuff coming out in here. It is DM Brandon stuff. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Um, so that's that's exactly where that came from. Uh, but it's it's pretty dirty and it, it rules because Soul cannot Soul disapparates and you're like whatever. I'm I'm right here. <laughs> just like yeah, okay, you're done. Okay, okay, I'm gonna keep stomping on your face. And it's amazing. I love doing that. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. Wolf is actually doing okay in levels. Uh, and, and gold, doing actually pretty decent in gold, considering uh, one and three still has 8,400 gold. Tied, actually, with soul and gold. Uh, not, not tied with Guan Yu, but that's understandable, given he's 4-0 and oh ended in the soul lane as well. <laughs> so for a soul laner to be tied with a mid laner on gold probably isn't the best thing <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah, we really haven't uh, been talking about the carries that much right now though there is a fight going on between well kind of it just just broke apart really quickly but uh right now it looks like j tedder has been doing a lot more work uh than shady og than even though they're the same level oh but right now we have soul actually running away from athena and janice to separate coming out and thor landing hitting that double tap and is soul going to die she's so low but she is walking out oh and the <laughs> Gepsho comes out, saving from through space and time. Guan heal. Everybody is here to save this soul. And Jtetter picks up Thor. And Ozeth picks up Swaganator. And everybody's just dying on Elonomics. <laughs> <laughs> Elo Nox is getting shredded right now, and Support Dog's in a bad situation, gonna ult out of this bad situation as well. But right back into somewhat of a fight, they are looking to pick off Cardiac, who's just gonna walk away. He is Gab, he's really hard to pick off. Look at this, we see J Tedder getting really aggressive right now, going under that tower. There it is, oh, just the Shockwave, but the Shockwave's enough to have Bip on Boot pick it up. Cute is gonna pick up Support Dog as the kill. Great teamwork between Geb and a Wheelish there. That is an awesome knockup uh, ultimate combo that we need to see more awesome. And, oh man, I was that hoping for the triple bounce. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome. That probably would have killed him. Yeah, uh, almost definitely. definitely. Double tap gonna hit Cardiac there, but he does shield himself. He's gonna roll away. Oh, Saf just riding through that. Wolf gonna go down. Shouldn't have been there anymore, honestly. She just walked away after he took that much damage from that ricochet. Oh, he just shredded him, and he just needed to walk out. They're not gonna defend that Phoenix if they if. <laughs> team sponsor us really wanted to take it they could have they know this probably isn't the best fight for them given cardiac self uh and they're gonna take the safe route and just walk away you take they're like eight thousand gold ahead right now there's no need to get greedy right now <laughs> <laughs> they might as well just all right let's all go back and buy let's all group up and get health back we can we can do whatever we want at this point yeah, right now, Team Sponsor Us really uh, being far ahead. Uh, if you're looking at the UI, Elonomics is not on the Chaos side that's actually switched. We apologize for that. But uh, as we're saying now, Team Sponsor Us is ahead with the 16 kills and the incredible gold lead. Uh, looks like Thor is actually fighting Guan Yu and does not get anything. But Mana teleporting over, Guan Yu's just going to walk on out of there like nothing's happening. Ugh, you can't fight Guan Yu at this point. Guan Yu late game is going to heal for so much. And that's the big, I think that's a huge part of Team Sponsors' help right now, is Guan Yu healing up a ton. Because we saw uh, Cute almost die, Geb Shield saved it. Then <laughs> we see Osaf <laughs> fight and heal on top of that. Half health Cute. 
It's like, you, weren't you just dead? And you're like, well, yeah, but then the rest of my team just pretty much, you know, gave me back my life, and now I'm going to come back into this fight. No problem. It's ridiculous yeah. how, how helpful Guan Yu is for your whole team, especially getting 20 minutes in, and when you're 14,000 XP ahead like that, that's just, it's, it's almost near impossible to fight him. Yeah, right now, Soul just uh, cute, actually. On that Soul, carrying, not, not necessarily carrying, but doing really well for a team sponsor us and you know everybody backing him up just makes for the perfect counter meanwhile we have the entire police squad coming over to the duel lane trying to attack uh soul and hu yi uh nothing happening uh except the ultimates coming out nobody's actually dying though yeah shell is pop for uh elonomics there they're trying to go for it jay taylor's gonna pick off shady og when he was dashing right at him trying to help finish him off nice double tap gonna pick up the double kill there support dog is going down Thor comes down, but only hits Cardiac, which is not the target he needs to fight right now. We see Bibom Boop just fighting him as well. Thor is going to get hurt pretty bad. Bibom Boop has to walk out of there to make sure the tower doesn't finish him off. Guan Yu looking to clean up right here. The Janus ult is coming, or excuse me, the Janus Sanctuary is coming out. I don't think it's going to be enough. He landed in his own portal. That might kill him, and it does. Talo Assault is going to finish him off with the help of a Shockwave there knocking him up. That was a misfortunate thing that he landed in his own ult, or his own portal there. Vamana doing his best to save this Phoenix and do any damage at all, but he is hardly hurting anyone. Jay Tedder going to finish off on Julian as well, and Cute just going to shred Wolf that whole time he's in his ult. This is looking really, really bad for Elonomics. Yeah, uh, right now, Team Sponsor us breaking into the base with two Phoenixes down. Uh, meanwhile, in the soul lane, all three towers are still up, but uh, it's not looking too great. Uh, seeing as how they have a soul and a Hu Yi and a Wheelix who can all burn Titans pretty well, along with two lanes full of fire creeps, that Titan is uh, more than likely going to be able to die very soon. Uh, Jay Tedder and Cute actually putting in incredible amounts of work into that last fight. We also had Ozoth. Uh, Playing a pretty good Guan Yu, but this, the kills are coming out on the Jay Tedder and Q really, really quickly. Yeah, the, the majority of that damage is coming out from those two. I think uh, Osath is there as a as a warrior, <laughs> like totally doing exactly what he should be as a warrior. More between between uh, support and between a hunter, you know, he's trying oh. to do that. And there it is. That's uh, that's going to be the surrender. It looks like <laughs> that's the uh, they're just going to finish it off. They know that that there's not a whole lot of coming back from that, unfortunately. So uh, great job on Team Sponsor us. They're doing five to twenty one. Uh, very very good job there. Yeah, uh, Team Sponsor us really playing a great game there. Elonomics uh, putting up a fight, but with uh, Guan Yu overtaking Vamana pretty hard, uh, it was just a pretty rough fight. Uh, let's actually, we're uh, looking at it now, and let's see, Vamana doing about 10,000 damage, Guan Yu doing 11,000. Not a huge difference, but whenever we look at the mid laners, uh, Giannis. <laughs> There's doing the disparity right there. <laughs> 6,000, Soul. Doing sixteen thousand. <laughs> yeah, there's that's just a lot of difference there. Ten thousand uh, player damage difference. That's insane. It's funny because Bibon Boop did pretty good actually that game. Uh, still did less damage than Thor. I think on on Julian did a really good job of playing from behind. Honestly, uh, did still did quite a bit of damage. Put down a few wards here and there. Uh, was really supporting his team the best he could and trying to be aggressive. I think they just definitely lost it because Cute was very, very effective. I think that was just a lot of it. And Jay Tedder on top of that. Jay Tedder uh, doing pretty good as well, but still only doing 8,000 damage, which is interesting because it looked like Hoi was doing a lot more damage than that, but just really not able to pick it up. Guan and uh, Osath and Cute, <laughs> really the, the key components of that game. Yeah. Uh, looks like uh, Cute was just doing a great job overall of that game. Uh, I'd say he definitely was helping Team Spawn through us uh, the majority, w with the majority of those fights, just doing m a crazy amount of damage and just being able to get those picks. Yeah, for sure. It's interesting to see the support dog has 10 wards placed. Uh, very good job warding by uh, actual Elonomics there. They ended <laughs> up having over 20 wards between them all and uh teen sponsor us didn't even really have close to that they well, i guess they had close to close to 20 but not quite near as many as elonomics did uh still didn't seem to matter for them though they were roaming and just looking for as many fights as possible elonomics was all over the place so uh i'm expecting to see something very similar to this next game elonomic or excuse me team sponsor us being very aggressive 
against the, the Elonomics again because they I think they know that they have the upper hand uh, in terms of the mid lane. I think they know the weak spots of Elonomics, and I think they're going to try and abuse that. Uh, yeah, they really uh, they're a really solid team all around, and if they know the we those weaknesses like that, then there's really no way they'll be able to be overtaken too easily. Uh, Elonomics, not saying they're out of this, but there's a pretty big chance Team Sponsor Us is going to have a repeat of last game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Elonomics really needs to uh, buckle down and get that early game fixed. I think they, they lost a lot of that within uh, like around 12 minutes. 12-minute 12 mark is really where Team Sponsor has started to just walk all over them. And I think they need to really, really pick up that early game and maybe be a little less aggressive or be a little less defensive, a little more aggressive against uh, Team Sponsor us. True, true. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, right now, uh, I think that's about it. Do you have anything else to say about that game? No, I'm just I'm ready to go ahead and get on to the next one. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go ahead and take a short little break. Uh, just a note, there's actually going to be a uh, headset giveaway at the uh, end of these sets. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. We'll be doing it with the tickets. And so make sure that you are ready to win, I believe it is a SteelSeries Siberia V2 headset, which is a great headset. Yeah, the 200. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, make sure you're you're stacking up those tickets while you're watching. You don't have to use them all right now if you don't want to. You can roll them over to the next uh, next time we stream as well. You or you can spend them all right now. It really is up to you. Uh, obviously, your chances will be higher if you hold on to them. Depending on how many people are here, it's really really up to you. So uh, be ready to give those up if you want. That is a pretty nice headset, though. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into a short little break, and we will see you guys back here with the next game. 